Praise the Lord, the brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God, somebody. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, the person you are seeing here on the platform, my name is Mrs. Evangelist Egon, and I'm based in the city called Verona in Italy. Glory be to God, somebody. Amen. In the word of God, there is power in thy name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow in the word of God. In the word of God, hallelujah. There is power in thy name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow in the word of God. In the word of God, hallelujah. There is a great anointing in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. But before we go for the word of God, I want us to pray. Everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God, the lion of the tribe of Judah, Father, once again, your word is about to come and say breath on your word. Use your word for as many that will luckily turn to this word of God. It can be now, it can be days to come, it can be weeks to come, it can be months to come, it can be years to come. Father, let this word make manifest in their life. Let it break yokes in their individual lives. Let it transform them from nobody to somebody, from a zero to a hero in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord Almighty, as you are about to hear people, your children are about to hear your word, every spirit of devourer that will steal the word, the, word, the word away from them, we silence them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, take all the glory, take all the adoration, for in Jesus' almighty name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, I want to deliberate on the word of God which I titled Interpretation. Hallelujah, somebody. Interpretation. Glory be to God, somebody. Amen. Now we can define an interpretation as action, an action of explaining the meaning of unknown. Action of explaining the meaning of unknown or uncommon something. Hallelujah, somebody. The action that will explain the meaning of the unknown to you. What you don't know. Remember in Matthew 7, 7, he said, ask and it shall be given. Seek, you will find. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. If you also go to Jeremiah 29, 13, what did he say? Jeremiah 23, 19. Let, 13, beloved. Let us see. I want to read the word of God so that we can always stand on the word of God. Remember, the word of God is always yea and amen. And the Bible says, when we stick to the word of God, we will always come out with a testimony. Glory be to God, somebody. Amen. Jeremiah 23, 19 says, 29, I beg your pardon. I wrote 29 here, not 23. Amen. I just want to read it to your hearing so that you will not think it is my word. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart and i will be found of you says the lord and i will find i will turn away and and i will i will turn away your captivity he said if you seek him you will find him if you seek him with all your heart so that he can turn away your captivity beloved brothers and sisters remember this is the word of God. One word of God will change you forever. Hallelujah, somebody. For interpretation of an action of in the meaning of unknown. Amen. I will take you to the word of God in the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 2. Hallelujah. When King Nebuchadnezzar dreamed and all the dream interpreters, they could not interpret it to him. And he was about to kill them. To assassinate them. That was where Daniel was found. Hallelujah. The Bible said Daniel interpreted the dream for King Nebuchadnezzar and the significance of the dream. 
Hallelujah, somebody. You know, before Daniel interpreted that dream, if you go to the book of Daniel chapter 2, verse 14, 15, up to 22, Daniel told King Nebuchadnezzar, he said, King Nebuchadnezzar, please give me chance, just give me a few days to see the face of the Lord. This is the area we need to know as a child of God. The people that says they are children of God, you must emulate the word of God. Hallelujah. He said, Nebuchadnezzar, please give it a few days. I want to seek the face of God. Remember, in Joshua 1 verse 8, the Bible says, meditate on this word day and night. And don't ever look at left or right. And apply it carefully. Underline that word carefully. He says, when you apply it carefully, so that all the days of your life, you will be victorious. Praise the Lord, somebody. This is a situation that is critical. Where King Nebuchadnezzar was about killing the dream interpreter, the soothsayer. Hallelujah, somebody. But this time around, they were using the power of men. But the power of men could not help them this time. Amen, somebody. This is where Daniel was found. And Daniel said, please, Nebuchadnezzar, don't kill them. Give us some time. The Bible said, Daniel, seek the face of God. Seek the face of God with prayer and fasting. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you a child of God? The Bible says, meditate on this word. Listen, meditate on this word day and night. He said, carefully apply it so that all the days of your life, you'll be prosperous. Don't even look at left or right. This is what the Bible says. Hallelujah, somebody. And that is what Daniel stood on. He seek the face of the Lord. He did not look at left. He did not look at right. He carefully seek the face of God. And God reveal, interpret, reveal and interpret the significance of the dream to him. And he was able to tell them to Nebuchadnezzar. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, I came up with such one of God because I don't know what you are passing through. But I'm here to let you know that God will help you to interpret those things. Is it your vision? Is it your dream? Is it your you know, finances or your assignment? There are so many things we are looking unto God for. We want to know the significance of that thing. For God to interpret them to us. But here I'm going to tell you, when you emulate the character of Daniel, when you emulate the word of God in the Bible, when you listen to them and carefully apply them, and call on the God of heaven, according to Matthew 7, 7, he said, there is a song before I go to Matthew 7, 7. He said, call on that name. You can call on that name. Just speak the name of Jesus and victory you can claim. Stand on his promises. Believe him by faith. Nothing is impossible when you call on that name. Call on that name. Call him. Call him anytime you want. Come on, somebody. I say, call him. Call him anytime you want. Beloved brothers and sisters in law, this is a short message that the Holy Spirit has put in me this hour to come and tell somebody out there. I don't know what you are looking at, oh God, for that you don't understand. You are dying. You don't know you are looking at, oh God, for something. But you don't have an understanding of what to do. Beloved, because it seems that there is no answer. Beloved brothers and sisters, I'm here to let you know that Daniel see the face of God, a situation whereby people were about to be assassinated by, you know, because they, they did not know the meaning of the dream Nebuchadnezzar dream. But because Daniel see the face of God, that dream was being revealed to him and the, in, his interpretation. Beloved brothers and sisters, one word of God, you know, we deliver you from that predicament that one word of god you are allowed to come inside you we set you free we explain that vision to you that career of that thing you are looking unto god for that finances hallelujah somebody god will reveal it to you and god will interpret it to you here is daniel he, he revealed to him the jeremiah 33 says when jeremiah was about to be key i want to show you here the word of god is here amen Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Hallelujah, somebody. Here, this is the word of God. The word of God is always yea and amen. The Bible says anytime we stick to the word of God, we will continue to come out with a testimony. A situation whereby Prophet Jeremiah was in prison because they are about to assassinate him. 
Here God revealed to him in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He said, call on me and I will answer thee. And I will show thee great mighty things which thou knowest not. Did you see that? I want to repeat the reading again. Here Jeremiah is in prison. As a man like me and you, he was thinking all hope is lost. He, was, he always forgot, you know, that God was not no longer on his side. But glory be to God. God revealed to him in that prison. He says, he says, call on me and I will answer thee. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Beloved brothers and sisters, have you given up on that, your ugly situation? Hallelujah. Remember the three Hebrews said, boy said, even though they are thrown inside that fire, they will not give up. Don't give up on that, your ugly situation. Don't give up on that, your dream. Don't give up on that, your career. Don't give up on that, your vision. The Lord is on your side. Anytime you seek him, you will find him. You say, have you seek me? You Have you prayed? In the book of Isaiah 65, 24, he said, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Daniel in Daniel chapter 2, pray to the God of heaven. A situation that was critical. A situation that people thought all hope is lost. But they saw the glory of God immediately. That is where Nebuchadnezzar know that there is God in heaven. That is greater than their God. Remember Jesus said in that Matthew 20, 18, he said, all power in heaven and earth belong to me. Beloved brothers and sisters in law, I don't know what you are still waiting for. He has given you power over that ugly situation. Beloved brothers and sisters, I'm here to come and stir up your spirit once again. That Nebuchadnezzar dreamt a situation that was critical. He wants all those deep interpreters to interpret to him. There was no man here on earth that could do that. But except Daniel and his men, they see the face of God. I don't know what you are looking for. Have you losing hope? Have you given up on that thing? I don't want you to give up. I want you to come back to your senses like the prodigal son did. He went outside, wanted to go and live on his own. When he came to a chapter squad, squandering all his heart, he thought all situation, all hope is lost. But glory be to God to somebody that he came to his senses. The prodigal son came back to his senses. I don't know the spirit that is in you. Are you carrying the spirit of the prodigal son? I want you to come back to your father. When you seek his face, you will find him. When you ask him, you will find him. When you knock, he will open. When you when you ask, he will give you. Daniel seek, he find, he ask. In that Matthew 7, 7, manifest said in the book of Daniel chapter 2. Daniel seen the face of God because he took excuse from Nebuchadnezzar. He took, he, he, he seen the face of God and God revealed those secrets. I don't know what is bothering you. You are looking unto God for something. You have prayed and prayed. Don't give up. Don't give up. The Bible says in the book of, I think, out of Apostle chapter 2, the children of God, they prayed earnestly and an angel came from heaven to deliver them from that predicament. Beloved brothers and sisters, one word of God is enough. I'm not going to talk too much. I want you to rewind this video. I want you to meditate on the word of God. As the man of God is releasing it, write the scripture down. Go back to the word of God and search the scriptures. That is what I normally do. I don't just come with Bible and be reading. But when the man of God, that is my sister, they release the word of God, I will write the scripture down. I go to the scriptures to search it. From there, I see other things that I did not even know. Then I stand on there and began to apply them. Glory be to God. I always come out with a testimony. I don't know what you are looking unto God for. Here Daniel see the face of God. Daniel found God. There is another scripture in the book of Daniel chapter 5. When the son of Nebuchadnezzar, they were holding a feast with his concubines. Hallelujah. Of a sudden, they saw, before they saw a hand writing on the wall, the cup that Nebuchadnezzar seized from Jerusalem, he put it in his temple. And as they were doing feast, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, they now, they were using some of the cup. And immediately they saw a hand writing on the wall. And the dream interpreters, those who Sarah, they could not once again find the interpretation of these things. They could not understand the language that the, the hand is, invisible hand is writing. Hallelujah, somebody. Before you know it, the wife of the, 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 the queen mother now discovered that Daniel is remembering Daniel that is there. He now called Daniel to 
the king's son, Nebuchadnezzar's son. This was how the 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 the, 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 the writing of the war was being interpreted once again by Daniel. But be, beloved brothers and sisters, I'm here to release the spirit of Daniel upon your life. As you receive it, say amen. That you will understand something that is un- understandable, something that people are about to give up on. God will give you the vision. God will give you the interpretation on how you are going to interpret it to them. That person will come back to life. That is my declaration for you. As you stand on the word of God, God will continue to give you that 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 gift. We have nine fruit of the spirit. Daniel have the dream, the dream interpretation. He has so many gifts. Beloved brothers and sisters, if you read the book of Daniel from beginning to the end, you will see the comp- the, 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 the qualities of Daniel, the character that is exhibiting. He humble himself when he's doing his work. He do it with patience and perfectly. He humble do it. He do it with sincerity. There are some people they are not sincere. They have a double faith. How can you expect the spirit of God to manifest through you to do something great so that people that will see you they will see of a truth is a child of God. Beloved brothers and sisters, I'm here to encourage us for we to give our life to God. As you stick to the word, as you stick to the word, you will always come out with a testimony. Go to the book of Daniel chapter 5. You can read from verses 1 to end. All these things are there. You go to the book of Daniel chapter 2. You can read from verses 1 to end. The word of God is always here. Amen. The Bible says also once again in Joshua, meditate on this word. Meditate on this word. Don't allow this book of the law to depart from your mind. And as you do, you will always come up with a testimony. Please, I want you to help me to subscribe. I want you to share. I want you to like. I want you to know when you don't give up on God, you will always come up with a testimony. Don't look at the situation that is ravaging the whole country. Don't look at the land that is desolate. Don't look at maybe there are some children of God that negative things happen to. You are a child of God. I want you to come to look unto heaven where your help coming from. Remember, your help coming from God Almighty. And as you do, you will come up with a testimony. Please help me to share, help me to subscribe, help me to like on my YouTube, not on my WhatsApp, not on my Facebook, to be precise. Please help me to do so, so that to enhance my, 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 my vision and also the, 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 the YouTube and they will, it will be, the number will be getting high to promote my, my YouTube channel in one word. So as you listen, may God bless you. May God promote you. May God, may God protect you. I declare and declare you come to be a victor. You will so hard. You will reach that your life destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. No one will hide your, your, your you will divert your destiny. That's your destination. You will arrive there in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of devour, I silence them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, go and possess your possession. You are a winner. You are a victor. You are a conqueror. You are a chapel of your chapel in Jesus. Almighty name I have prayed. Amen and amen. Shalom.